Let's bring you more Nana on Top Story uh, from Hawaii and the aftermath of the deadly wildfires there. The authorities have warned that efforts to find and identify the dead on Maui are still in their early stages. Some 96 deaths have now been confirmed, but hundreds of people are still unaccounted for. We can try and give you an idea of the scale of the devastation in the historic town of Lahaina. We can show you some dramatic before and after video. So take a look at these pictures. They're from the harbour front area. They were filmed in May, and you can see just how beautiful it is. The perfect blue seas, restaurants and bars along the waterfront there. So many boats are moored as well, many of these of course taking tourists visiting the island out on trips to go whale watching, snorkeling or on a sunset tour. Uh, that's the image of Hawaii that a lot of us think of when uh, we think of Hawaii as a tourist destination, when you look at a holiday brochure. Now, look at it. The video filmed from a helicopter. This is the exact same area. The flames have absolutely decimated this area. They've ripped through all of those shops, the restaurants as well. They were bustling last week with tourists and now here they are, just absolutely reduced to rubble and to charred remains. And as we pull out and the camera pulls back, uh, you can see as well in the harbour what had happened to some of those boats. And along the shoreline, looking back at the land, it really is hard to see any building there that has not been damaged or touched by the flames, so it's incredibly dramatic just seeing that before and after. So we go from those pictures. We can take you now live to Maui and join CBS News correspondent Jessica Cartelia. Jessica, very good to see you. Just explain to us what is happening at the moment in terms of the search for uh, people who may have perished, because we've been hearing only about 5% of land has been covered so far. Yeah, Lucy, it is just heartbreaking. So today, officials are urging everyone who's missing a loved one to please go out and get a DNA test to help them better identify the remains that they are uncovering. And the police chief says that they are meticulously searching the area. They are working on the recovery effort and going as quickly as possible, but they're hoping to do so uh, with respect and what they call aloha, right? To respect the dead. And of course, this is going to take quite some time. Only 3% of the area has been searched and 96 bodies have been found, but of those, only two have been positively identified. As we talk to you, Jessica, we can see pictures of the devastation and so many people are now without their homes. What kind of help is available for all of those many, many people who have been affected by the fires? So donations, Lucy, are pouring in, which is great, but of course the challenge is making sure that they get to those who need them, right? So they are urging tourists to postpone any trips here to Maui because so many people have lost their homes and they are trying to get people into a safe space or into safe shelter. So we have some 500 hotel rooms and Airbnbs which are now going to those in need. Now earlier we have been speaking with people who say that they know someone or they have been directly impacted by this fire in some way. There's just a heavy here on the island but the love is so incredibly strong that we spoke with someone who is staying at a shelter and he said that the donations just keep coming in that they keep offering them food and whatever they possibly need to help them cope with all of this and Jessica we keep seeing pictures and hearing about what has happened in Lahaina but what about on other parts of the island and in the other islands in the chain too are there still fires Yes, there are actually. There are fires that continue to pop up. So right now it is so arid and we were having these storms and Hurricane Dora, which was right off the coast. So the fires were just igniting one after the other. And then once they would put a fire out, another hotspot would flare up. So the firefighters would literally go from one location to the next location. They also have one of the best alarm systems really around the world on this island chain with some 500 different beacons and for whatever reason and we are thinking that it is because these fires just flared up so quickly residents here in Maui specifically did not hear any of the alarms and that's why you're seeing that devastation in so many of the victims uh, that I'm, I'm hoping Lucy that you've seen this video where people are literally running out 
into the water. We spoke with someone today who had been out in the water in the ocean for five hours just trying to wait this out because they had nowhere else to go. Yeah, those stories are so shocking and so moving. Jessica, thank you very much for joining us.